our first stop is the historic courthouse. I think this is the fourth or fifth courthouse in this location. And it is now a bookstore. It's not a bookstore and a cafe. Is that not brilliant? I am headed up in there. Ooh, points at the bridge. I literally just crossed a road, didn't realize it was a road and didn't even look. <laughs> I kid you not. Oh my gosh, it was because the bricks threw me off. Isn't that hit pitiful? A car was coming, but it was kind of further down the road. Moving pictures. Hello there, moving pictures. I've been all around the world. Every city, every place. Okay, this is brilliant right here. Isn't that brilliant? this idea locker with all the magnets to displays life is short don't forget to kiss your dog good night i really like this little flip journal but it's 25 dollars, so i won't be able to get it do this. Okay, hotel keychains. Fictional places. Look at that USS Enterprise. What else we got? <laughs> Oh, Alavanders. Alavanders. I can never say that word right. I want to know what's down there. I want to know. Okay, so I'm gonna sit out here and eat my muffin. Little doggy out there enjoying watching the people go by. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Cream cheese filling is wonderful. I bought two books. I bought a blind book. I've done this one other time at Barnes & Noble. And then another on a um, employee's author recommendation. And it's not about this, at the story of a happy marriage. Like that, I was like, ah, no, I don't, I don't think so. But then I read what it's about. Um, it, it says the author is committed to her art and craft of writing, the depths of friendship, and an elderly dog. But here, 
These essays twine to create both a portrait of life and philosophy of life on scale in a six-foot wall in order to join the Los Angeles Police Department, open an independent bookstore, and sitting down to write a no novel are eventually mastered with quiet and sheer force. What? What modus oper had been to accept all comers? Comers is a word? My best friend's last name is Comer. I had no idea it was an actual word. I thought it was a last name. So I looked it up. A person who arrives somewhere. Feeding every comer is still a sacred duty. Oh my gosh, the things you learn reading. Did you know that you can also find me on Instagram, The Mouse Diva? I spent about an hour and 50 minutes in there. This is the street that I didn't realize was a street and literally just walked across without looking. There was a car, probably it hadn't quite hit the, uh, the brick. When I was walking across. Okay, so the good thing about being very close to the hotel is I need to drop this book, the bag off of books, and pick up my water bottle. I am not going to leave this room without opening this. Oh, this. I have done one other blind book before I bought one at Barnes and Noble. And actually, to tell you the truth, I can't remember if I actually uploaded the footage on that um, or the book review. It, so sad. But at least I know that this is going to go up because this is going to go up like right away within a couple days of me getting back home. So, wanted to give you more information about this book. It is essay. She used to be a writer for different magazines. Um, also, while writing fiction. But this is an essay, different essays. That's why you had all those table of contents. And I just, the, the, like I said before, so title, so deceiving. Like, I would have never even picked this book up because of the title. Like, I don't know, maybe she thought that would make people pick it up, but that would turn me off. So I'm really glad that the, um, employee at the bookstore just recommended her and then showed me some other books and this is the last one I picked up and this is the one I chose. Now, I did have, I was using the receipt as a bookmark and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to put that away because I'm scared that like I'm gonna accidentally look at the bookmark and it's gonna tell me the title of this book and the, um, I think he was actually the owner, the guy that checked me out um, he actually put this book over, to, he scanned this first, first and put it over the card reader because evidently it shows the title of the books and he's like, oh, I'm going to put this over this so that you don't see the title of the book. So there was quite a few that I was trying to decide, um, between. Now this one was $17, obviously a soft, soft cover. A Man in Search of Literary Fame, Marvelous Engaging, and I cannot read, I totally can't read the writing, and Witty, Full of Ambition, Secrets, Manipulation, and Obsession. I love their logo, their book stamp here. Okay, all right, shall we? Oh, it's so... I love the thrill of not knowing because the, this stuff can be so deceiving. Okay, I've never seen this book. So that's good. A Ladder to the Sky, a novel by John Bone. I have not heard of him. Author of Hearts Invisible. Okay, so let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry, I have to. Oh gosh. Of the smell of books. I wish I could just read all day. I wish I could make a living off of somehow reading books. Like, ugh, anyway. Okay. Uh, Maurice Swift is handsome, charming, and hungry for fame. Oh my gosh. So I put my glasses on. I actually see myself. Just side note, disclaimer. 
my hair has been up in a cap because I've been walking outside and it will go back in a cap um, before I leave. Other side note, the mirror in this hotel room, well, the lack thereof, there was no makeup mirror. Guys, <laughs> everything is blurry without my readers for close up. So I basically could hardly put makeup on. So anyway, um, the one thing he's missing is talent, but a would-be writer can find or steal stories from anywhere. Roving from the coast to, roving from Manhattan and London, he preys on the talented and vulnerable in a cold-blooded climb to the top. But the higher he climbs, the further he has to fall. Hmm. Not quite what I thought it would be. Like I said, this can be so deceiving. So, so, so. But this praise for the ladder of the sky, Washington Post, 50 notable works of fiction in 2018, um, Esquire's best books of 2018, Town and Country's five books you need to read in November. So, I mean, supposedly it's good. We'll see. Okay, copyright 2018. So uh, let me look up real quick some other things that he's written. First little tidbit about him. He's an Irish novelist born in Dublin on April 30th, 1971. So he's just a few days uh, younger than I am. He studied English literature at Trinity College, Dublin, and creative writing at the University of something. I haven't. He's the author of 13 novels for adults, six for younger readers, and a collection of short stories. His 2006 no novel, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, was sold, has sold more than 11 million copies worldwide. Um, yeah, I'm just not... Let me look at some of his books and see if I even recognize any of those books. Tell me, have you recognized any of these books let me know down below so far i'm not recognizing any yeah all right looks like i have found a new author and we'll find out with this book if it's going to be a new author that i am going to continue to read well, I should have turned the camera around this way. At least the lighting is a little bit better. Makes me a little bit more presentable. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to this mystery book unwrapping. I am getting ready to head back out. I have um, several things to film today. And one of them has to do with a historic cemetery. Until the next page. I've been all over.